Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Um, today I want to make a video about nudity. Um, I, made, <laughs> I made a post today saying um, how being naked is good for your spirituality and I was saying to my friend, you should definitely try it, you should do it. Because like, I, I, I shared a, a post with some close Facebook friends today. Um, that's my melon patch. I was just saying that I just showed a picture of me from Ireland where I was like, you know, I used to be in my back garden sometimes if it was lucky enough to be sunny or even mildly sunny and I'd be like naked in my back garden um, chopping and sawing up wood and everything. <laughs> and I was just saying that like, it's, it's a, and yesterday I was in the sea and I was um, naked. Um, and I just, it's just like, there's nothing better than being, it's like in the bosom of mother nature, mother earth. Oh, like one of the most spiritual and like magical experiences of my life was being naked in the sea, swimming in the Bali ocean in Bali. That's the first time I ever swam naked in the sea. It was an amazing experience. Whew. That was with Sally then, and um, yeah, yesterday as well. I wasn't on my own naked either in the sea, so that was nice. I wasn't the only one, but um. The reason why I want to say it's good for your spirituality is because like we're so used to as a society to always covering up, hiding, withholding, holding back, holding in, suppressing, hiding our truth, our real true feelings, our emotions, our, or what we really want or think or feel. Our, how we really see something mentally even, our, our true perception, our, our opinion. We're just so afraid and always wearing clothes, covering up our body, our holy vehicle, our temple. Always covering it up, always. Like, is there, what's the ratio of nudity compared to covering up? It must be like 99 to 1. Unless you sleep naked, which I think is a very nice thing to do as well, if you're able to, like if it's not too cold. But why is the ratio so un so lopsided? Like, look at all this here. Do you know these are nude? Like, plants aren't wearing clothes. Like, this is like natural. This is the way, you know, whatever, God, or whatever the word you use for like the infinite, like the, the big thing up there in the sky. <laughs> clouds. Now, like, you know, the universe, like, the big picture, the great spirit, as the Native American Indians would call it, the higher thing, you know what I mean, like, we come out naked of the womb. All this shame, self-suppression has been bred into us as a society and a culture. Going back millennia or hundreds yeah, thousands of years. And it's because people back then knew that if you can shame people about themselves, then they'll shame and judge others then. If you can get people to judge themselves, they'll project that and then judge others. So if you get someone to self-incriminate and say, hey, you're bad or wrong and dirty for not for wear for like for not wearing clothes or for 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 thinking about sex or having sex or masturbating even, like, there's nothing really wrong with that at all in the slightest bit. There's zero percent, zero, not even one percent, zero percent wrong or dirty or bad or shameful about, like, masturbation. I swear to God, I'm not just saying this to try and, like, be, be, um, sensational, like, to create sensation or to, uh, like, if only, I just wish, like, the world was lighter. And that's why I'm making this video, because, you know, it was in those cultures that they discovered, uh, some native cultures in forests and like native lands. There was no rape. There was no like sexual abuse. There was no robbery. You could leave your house open at night. There was no crime. And why? Because they didn't have all these things that we have. Um, the self-judgment and self-incrimination. Sexually or other ways. So, if you... So this is the reason, by the way, I'm just trying to help educate you here. 
this is the reason why society in the past has done this because they've been fearful the people in control and in power they were afraid to lose power and they realized and knew that if you can get people to become uptight and judgment judgmental about themselves then they'll project that and do the same to other people so if i judge myself then if i see you doing the same thing i'll be like whoa hey man what the fuck are you doing or you shouldn't be doing that they'll tr the society will start to control each other they'll have to do less controlling